So, I'm in this secondhand store. I didn't end the last vlog, but I'm gonna end it now now. And I found these two little bags, which I'm kind of obsessed with. This one, the first one, let me just put some of this down. So firstly, I found this little basket bag, which I think is very cute, very different. And I think it's like, how many, $12, very cute. And I really like it, nice for summer. And then I also found this little, um, what is this called? A mesh tote. I've seen lots of people wearing these like online, filled with stuff. And I think it's really cute. I don't know how I could style this though, for my style, but I really like it. We have come to Krispy Kreme. Mmm, I'm so excited. Look at that giant box they have there. I'm expecting like a little craft store. This is Hobby Lobby. <laughs> it's like game, but a craft store. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. nice on the inside. Yo. We're just entering Hobby Lobby. This place is huge. Mm. There's a ton of home stuff here. I wish I could take all the stuff home with me. I know. I'll take tables and everything. Most of this shop is home stuff. And apparently there's that holiday section again. I hate the holiday sections. There's more holiday. Jeez. It's just um, like aisles and aisles and aisles of stuff. Should we do baby shower stuff first? Here's Easter. Easter, Easter stuff, stuff is coming up. Stuff and then from here easy. onwards is home stuff. And all the way up that way Yo. is home stuff. It's a huge store. Yeah. How cool is this? It's like a whole screen printing set for $49. It's not bad. That's really cool. You could start a mini little business with this. I'm just casually unwrapping the rugs in Hobby Lobby but this is a really nice one and they're having a huge sale so this is usually uh, $99 which is like 1,200 Rand but they're having 50% off sale on rugs so it's $50 which makes it like 650 Rand and this is beautiful and huge and amazing and really affordable. <laughs> Just saying to Christy, the cool thing is that this is not crazy expensive because it's like, how much? $16, but you get the artwork and the frame, which is really nice. Like at home, you get like the frame for what? 200 Rand, maybe? Same thing with that one. I like how great they are, I really like that. And the feather, very pretty. <laughs> We've come back to drift and I'm having this what is this golden golden latte? I'm intrigued and then this is also like a lemon date ball which I'm excited about. Christy has got filter coffee and she's brought her chocolate with her. <laughs> you happy? <laughs> and my avo. <laughs> and avo. But mainly the chocolate and the coffee. <laughs> We're in TJ Maxx now. First time I've been in here. It's really awesome. It's amazing. Looking at this Kate Spade laptop bag. Also, I'm looking at glasses. <laughs> flat. I don't like the flat. Quite like these. They're super weird, but I think they look good. Like these are kind of larger. I like them, even like with the outfit that you wear. I want to do a full tan outfit, including my glasses. <laughs> I know. I wasn't joking. That's fully you. So these are like the normal short ones. That... Like I just don't want to see it. I just don't know what I see. Ow. What's that? Give me the Sean. I'm going to put it These are both short. These are really long time. See, I like that shape on your face more like round than the square. 
This is again the round shape that I like. <laughs> what do you wear this week? All black. That's pretty much anything. Oh my god. It's not like limited to anything. So this is what TJ Maxx looks like and essentially it's like name brand stuff and then it's all marked down by a lot in here. So she's like Calvin Klein and like really nice brands in here. Look there's a Calvin Klein one right here. And we've hit the makeup section. It's brush sets. <laughs> handbags and like wanting to have the real thing I would just get so excited about this but the only reason I'm excited is because it feels really good but it's only mm, two five which is really good and this is nice and big here's another cute little Michael Kors number I like this sanctuary backpack it's kind of got a Chloe vibe hi everybody <laughs> It is um, Thursday and it's a little bit echoey because I'm in Christy and Jacob's new place and we've pretty much spent the majority of today prepping for them to move, like packing some stuff and then also moving stuff here and doing some painting. So this is what we're going to be doing for the next like little while and it's really exciting. I love moving. I love moving. The packing part is horrible but like the fresh space and like doing cool things with it makes me so happy. So a lot of today I'll actually insert some footage here where I show you that I'm painting like door like the door frame because it's weird but this place has like yellow trim. Uh, let me show you how can you see it here. So like beautiful white walls but then yellow trim everywhere. So I painted this door frame and then that door frame as well obviously it needs like a second coat but why would you put yellow trim everywhere hideous but i think once the yellow trim is gone it'll be awesome um so this is what we'll be doing let me turn you around pretty much what we're we'll doing for the next few days it's christy's baby shower on saturday as well um but we're going to be doing this on saturday evening and hoping that we'll be fully in on saturday evening like we could sleep here on Saturday evening but for today a little bit of tomorrow we're also gonna be doing some painting and getting stuff in here and kind of getting them settled so this is also why I'm here is um to make sure that they are like I can help Christy with the move so sorting out the baby's room and just getting them ready so I'm actually really happy to be painting and sorting and moving boxes and stuff it makes me so happy it is interesting light uh what day is it today friday it's friday the day before christy's baby shower so we are doing lots of errands for the baby shower don't mind the light it's just we're just gonna have to live with it so i'm buying getting like food and stuff now so we can prep it this evening and we did some decor stuff this morning uh yeah so everything is kind of on track and we're going to go into Costco now. So I thought it would be interesting to show you guys what it is like in here. And uh, Leia was telling me, Christy's friend Leia, she was telling me that um, we went to Walmart and she was like, okay, no, Costco is just so much bigger. Like you're going to be so shocked when you see how big it is. So I'm very intrigued as to how big this stuff is because I've been doing this thing on Instagram. Um, like I actually have a highlight thing so if you go on my profile there are I think three or four different highlights up there so I've got like America where you can watch um, it means that you can watch my stories for more than 24 hours so as long as it's on that highlight thing it means that you can watch it so if you don't see what I did on that specific day you can watch the highlights so this is thing that I'm doing why so big Walmart and so <laughs> I'm just like taking pictures of really big things in relation to my head it's just it's it's interesting go watch it it's interesting to see like how big things are like unnecessarily big another thing that's big is this tummy hi <laughs> well we actually watched a video and apparently my tummy is supposed to be bigger than this i'm not no I one's complaining though no one's complaining that it's not but you're it's i looked so at that tummy. picture and i was like yo 
That's a big dummy. So glad. So glad it's not that huge. So we're going to go do some shopping now. It's mostly food shopping, but I want to look around and take some photos for my hashtag. <laughs> but I'll show you guys around and show you like what we get and also like how big everything is. Also, I'm loving this combo of these two very... <laughs> neutral shades. So I love my neutrals. <laughs> Costco. That woman is wearing a full peach outfit. I mean, do you need 14 razors? Or all of the razor blades? But this is crazy. Also, Sean would love this section over here. All the TVs. But you can't buy bulk TVs, can you? Huge. I have a huge fan. Oh wow. Look at that huge bag of pistachios. I mean, do you really need so much though? <laughs> this is my constant thing. Do you need that much? I didn't think Costco would have rugs, but apparently they do. And next to the fish. And the fresh stuff. This is what we came for. All the food things. This is excessive. I mean, all the bread. Oh of the croissants. Wouldn't this be nice to have in Cape Town? Bottles and bottles of water or even just water coming out of the taps after day zero. This is it's a lot of water. We need this back home. Even more water. Yo. I mean, yo. <laughs> Holy crap. Could it be any bigger? in the way of vlogging recently just because we've been moving we're in Christine Jacobs new house all the stuff is in we spent our first night here last night and it's just kind of been moving stuff baby shower um, cleaning all that kind of stuff so we are going to do some fun stuff today we're gonna to go to Cracker Barrel which I've heard about in a couple of different vloggers videos like American vloggers obviously um, and then we're also gonna to go to Marshall's which is like a TJ Maxx we also went to TJ Maxx, which you probably would have already seen. I don't actually know. It's kind of like a blur for me right now about what I have vlogged and what I haven't. But, um, yeah, we're going to do some shopping and going to go to Cracker Barrel today. It's crazy. So cute pregnant tummy. <laughs> also, my skin is just breaking out something else. But I know that it's just me because I'm not taking off my makeup at the end of the day. I'm just using a wipe because I'm really tired. But... There's like a mountain on my forehead over there, just like a cluster of something. There's a whole lot of this going on, but I'm going to focus on my skincare now. Well, from now on, and then it'll be fine. Crack a barrel. It's a real mom ban. Hey. Hello, cute Tim Tim. <laughs> So Cracker Barrel also sells like Cheese, apparently. front porch stuff. They're known uh. for this game and for their rocking chairs. Okay. They're big in the holidays here. There's lots of yeah. Valentine's Day stuff out at the moment. Welcome to the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Enjoy your makeup. Thanks. It's very brown. There's cows on everything though. That's nice. Mm, that's really nice. How much is it? It's $40. The giant fireplace. Mm. 
So we've opted to share. So we've gotten the pancakes. These are giant flapjacks. Pancakes with what did they say? Syrup and butter. I guess this is the syrup. And oh, the, the this is the tiny little syrups. How cute are these? They're so tiny. Syrup and then butter on the pancakes and then eggs and bacon. It comes separately, but it's like one meal. This is one thing. And then um, French toast also with the butter and then same thing. So basically we just got the French toast and the pancakes and then this is the same. I'm very excited about this. I like that it's separate. I was worried that it was going to be like all on one plate. And I was like, I don't really want my things to touch. This is so tiny. And then someone mentioned that they wanted to see grocery shopping. So, so. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, this is the thing at Costco where there's always someone, there's people with like little tests of food that you, and you just eat while you're shopping. Bread, anybody would like to try? Oh, gluten free bread, I'll try that. Uh, very tasty, not like the other gluten free breads. Gluten free? Bread. Please take your bed and throw it away. Huh? Alright, that's great. You get two loaves for $9.49. It's got lots of whole grains, eight grams of whole grains per serving. Are you breaking me, Janie? No, I came to try your delicious cheese. Cheese. Lots of different cheeses and it very much confuses me. This bag is giant, number one. 1.1 1. 1 kilograms, it's a lot of cheese. I'm not sure, but that's, that's cream cheese though. I think I would rather have that cheese, and I don't think that Jacob really cares. You said there was a gluten-free pizza. Uh-huh. It's a cauliflower crust. Uh, didn't you say there was a cauliflower crust? Yeah. Yes. The gluten-free one. We do. Gluten-free pizza. Handy. Just thought I would show you what a regular aisle looks like and all this stuff and a waddling pregnant lady. <laughs> you are so pretty with your tummy. <laughs> okay, this is something interesting. They have all of these like things that you can make that come in a can so you can get bread. So this is like um, phyllo pastry or like pastry for pies. Um, what's this one? It's got like honey butter flavor. These are little croissants. The croissants in here, like the um, batter for the croissants. Cinnamon rolls in this can. You can get actual rolls. So these are biscuits, American like. They're basically scones, but they're savory scones. And Americans like these with breakfast. A bit starchy, but I'm not a fan of biscuits really. Um, there's like French bread here. Is this the French bread? No, this is a dough sheet. 
There's one that's like a French loaf in this can as well. So this is something that Jake's mom was showing me. It's like a French loaf in this can. You just pull it out. I don't know what you put with it, but I don't even think you need to put anything with this. I think you literally just take it out of this can and you put it into the oven. Oh my word. That's a simple life. Well, I wouldn't do it, but... Oh, there's pizza crust as well.